Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Dem state chairman literally pushes to ban man from certain elections. If you thought progressive leftists were already confused about gender, Democrats in Maryland just made matters worse by throwing a contradictory and discriminatory wrench into the works. According to the Washington Post, the Maryland State Party Chair has introduced new rules for the party's Central Committee elections that separate men and women into segregated elections for specific committee seats. State Party Chair Kathleen Matthews, wife of MSNBC host Chris Matthews, introduced the new rule in advance of Maryland's June 26 primary election, ostensibly as a method to ensure gender balance on the central committees, which are viewed as the first step into elected office for aspiring politicians. The Democratic National Committee has already mandated that central committees maintain gender balance between men and women, which has typically been achieved via post-election appointments to make up any differences in parity among the two genders. Yes, the DNC has by way of this policy implied that there are only two genders. But Matthews has taken that one step further and declared that appointing committee members to achieve balance is no longer good enough, and that parity must be obtained by way of elections, meaning certain committee seats will be designated specifically for men or women, and only men or women can run for those particular seats in elections. Even though you have roughly twice as many women running for office in Maryland, you still have more men running for office than women, Matthews stated. We are not at gender parity in terms of the broad pool of candidates. Thus, the party of inclusiveness that claims to be against discrimination will now forcibly discriminate and exclude certain people from running for office on the basis of their gender. Retired Democrat attorney Edward Kimmel took to the Seventh State blog to express his view of the new rule as being blatantly discriminatory, and lamented the fact that this new rule would be enforced by the state's Board of Elections. He was also disappointed to find that court precedents had already been set to allow for the original sexual discrimination of appointments based on gender to achieve balance precedent that Matthews relied upon to support her new rule. Any individual can only run for half of the slots, stated Kimmel, according to the Post. They get to vote for all of them, but they can only run for half of them. They are now going to be a boy seat and a girl seat, Kimmel continued, pointing to Montgomery County's District 22 committee seats as an example. If I am well satisfied by the way the man votes, that's cool, if I am unhappy about the policy positions taken by the woman, I cannot run against her. I have to recruit some other woman to run against her." The Powerline blog noted that this imposed gender quota on Maryland elections would be considered lawful based on the aforementioned court precedent set by the Fourth Circuit Court of Appeals, which essentially allowed for a considerable amount of deference to decisions of political parties as to how they will operate. However, though the move may be legal, it is nevertheless a rather unfortunate, and quite despicable, actually result of the progressive left's deep dive into identity politics, which places greater importance upon an individual's gender or skin color than their actual merits or abilities, which should be the first and foremost consideration of voters in a democratic society. So there you have it folks, Maryland Democrats have now boldly taken a major step backward to reintroduce segregation into politics based on genitalia. One can only wonder how transgender individuals or those who have adopted one of the myriad of supposed additional gender identities other than man or woman must feel, as they've essentially been all but completely barred from Maryland Democrat politics altogether by this move. As previously stated, a rather confusing and discriminatory move by purportedly inclusive and non-discriminatory Democrats. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.